Um, I'm here today because this is a developmental training event that's held for the ESDP employees. It's basically trying to get us out of our uh, workplace and basically showing us the Naval Air Museum. So just giving us a little bit more of the history behind Patuxent River, Maryland. Our engineering science development program leadership uh, determined that we needed to get together and talk about what we're expecting of them. So it a neat opportunity for two things to happen. First, for Mr. Kessler and I to reach out to them, you know, face to face and share with them strategically where we're going and why it's important and what they do uh, and, and its relation to the fleet. And then the second thing is really just for them to go and do activities together to get to know each other and share their experiences. It's always nice to when they get everyone together and be able to see some of the leadership and um, be able to get together that way and be able to talk and interact with some of the, the people who have been around for a long time and kind of know the organization in and out and kind of showing what they're hoping for the future since um, we're going to be the ones that's going to be able to drive it forward. They want to you know, be able to communicate um, back and forth to see everyone's on the same page. We have a number of different workshops going on. We have speed mentoring in which the participants of the event can um, interact, meet, network with, and potentially find a mentor. We have some simulators right over here. Participants can get into the sims and kind of experience what that would be like, which is a really cool experience. We have um, tours of the museum, which there are so many historical artifacts. There's so much history. It really teaches you, this museum teaches you about um, why you're here how this place was established, where you came from, history that you, would not, you wouldn't otherwise know. Um, so this museum is a great opportunity for that. We have a lot of processes and a lot of tools that we use. And what we do here is we give them a few years to do rotations so they can see different parts of the organization, not just in engineering, but they also get to go into test, logistics and so on, and really get an experience across the organization. And like I told them today, the path that they may end up on isn't evident to them yet. When they go through the program, it gives them options to see, you know, what we do and understand it more. I really like the rotations to be able to try different things. I mean, you don't want to be pigeonholed right away into a certain spot. So it's, it's nice to be able to kind of move around, see what you actually like. I went to grad school for a little while, um, so coming right out of school, you're you're not 100% sure what you want to be doing for your whole career. So that's why it's nice to be able to move around and, and get some training in the acquisition style and what the organization is actually about is, is really nice. The most challenging thing is things are a bit fast paced. It's definitely a change from being in school. So it's basically you have to pick up and hit the ground running. So you have to be sure to locate things on base, be sure to balance your schedule, time priority, because you have a lot of meetings between one project to another, and then you also have your separate ESDP responsibilities. So you definitely have to be good on time. I really value events like this because it allows me to um, do something that we don't often get to do when we have our heads down and we're working day to day, is to pick our heads up and say, these are my peers. These are other people who are in the same exact situation as me. So it's a really cool opportunity to network with people who are in the same situation as me and to um, support cutting edge technologies and to support the bigger mission. I thought that uh, the most important thing today that I heard was they really care about what they're doing and they want to understand how they fit in and then how they're going to be able to into the future contribute like the more experienced workforce does. Yeah, good stuff.